welcome back to our youtube channel where we will explore the amazing future of uh, google cloud platform today we are going to drive into the world of uh, load balancing and discuss how gcp can help us achieving the availability and scalability of our application so let's start it So I am in my GCP dashboard to create the target group. So go to the navigation menu and then go to the computer engine. Then you can see here one option that is a target group, instance group, sorry, instance group. Uh, click on here. Then uh, create, uh, click on create instance group. So I am giving the group name here. Suppose I am giving the power cloud group, right? Then uh, here we have to create a template. So create a new template, then give it a name, PC, I am giving PC template, right? Then I am selecting the series, this uh, computer uh, platform I am selecting E2, then go down down uh, here is the boot ticks change the boot ticks i am selecting the operating system here ubuntu right i'm selecting ubuntu okay then click on select and go down allow the firewall this two firewall then save and continue right then uh, go to the region here we can uh, select the single zone or uh, you can select the multi zones i am selecting here the multi zone click on multi zones then region region i am taking asia uh, where is my so i am selecting this one so i am selecting the asia east one mm, then it's uh, uh, the zone uh, i am selecting here the multi zone that's why uh, it will select all the zone here right then the target is event i am selecting the event one uh, then the auto scaling i am selecting the don't auto scale right i am selecting this one then then go down it's not required auto scaling i am not uh, demonstrate to you the auto scaling i am just demonstrate to you the load balancer so go down mv instance life cycle go down okay now let's see the auto healing right for auto healing you have to create a health check now create a health check here Now give a name to the health check. I am giving the PC health check. HC. I am giving PC. I pen HC. Then go down. The health check interval is 5 seconds. And timeout is also 5 seconds. And health check threshold. I am giving this one 2. And uh, health threshold is also 2. Right. So save this one okay now go down um, i think i have missed something let's so here uh, we have to provide the minimum uh, number of instances to 
and the maximum number of instance is also 2 right and here also one option is uh, there uh, number of instance here also it's 2 right then go down uh, everything is fine and let's create okay you can you can see here when the uh, our uh, instance group is created it will show now it's creating Okay. Uh, let's go to check the our VM instance, right? Click on VM instance. Now we can see the two VM instances. Now it's created, right? So let's check whether we are accessing this uh, instance or not. Uh, suppose I am uh, connecting this SSH connection for the first instance okay now our instance is ready now so let's go to the sudo su become a root here now install apache server here apt Hyphen get install Apache two hyphen y okay now start the Apache server system CTL start Apache 2. It's now started. Now let's check the uh, path of the Apache server. CD slash r slash www html and go to the, this folder and vi index.html delete everything now fine insert and i am pasting this one copy and paste it here and this is the server one right i am saving this one okay it's saved and let's uh, do the same in the uh, second server right close this one and go to for the second uh, instance click on ssh then the second instance will open now uh, become a sudo user sudo su root user and uh, then same thing you have to do install the apache so apt hyphen get install apache 2 place enter now it's installed let's start system CTL start Apache to press enter now it's uh, started let's uh, change the content of the Apache um, for that vi uh, slash r www then html index.html press enter delete everything Now copy this one and paste it here and change the server uh, to here, right? Change this one to server two and save it. W. Okay. Now close this one. 
and check uh, whether we will access this one or not by taking the external IP. So I am taking the external IP here and paste it in my browser. Press enter. Okay, it's fine. GCP server one, right? And for the second one, I am taking this one. Paste it here. Press enter. This is the server two. Okay. So we will do the load balancing to create the load balancing for that go to this uh, navigation button and go down here you can see one option like uh, network uh, network service right in the network service there is an option <coughs> in the network service there is a option load balancing click on here then uh, create load balancer now you can see here there is a application load balancer network load balancer and uh, and uh, network load balancer udp right uh, i am going to do the application load balancer https right so i'm um, start the configuration so i'm uh, selecting the internet facing here the load balancer and a global HTTP is a load balancer. Now click on continue. Now uh, give a front end IP and port name here. I am giving uh, uh, PC front, right? And the protocol is HTTP and go down okay now click on done right then uh, go to the backend configuration and uh, select creative backend service click on create name i am giving the pc back for backend service the backend type is instance group here i am selecting the instance group here and the protocol is http and leave all the things and go to the new backend uh, instance group uh, i have already created uh, the instance group and selecting this one uh, power cloud group then the port number port number is 80 if you give the port number 80 then go down go down okay everything is fine go down okay, done and health check uh, i have created already i have created the health check click on here then go down create now the backend uh, service is uh, created uh, then go to the uh, routing rules here everything is uh, fine let's go to the review and finished okay let's uh, create click on this create option okay give a name i'm giving pc load right okay create it will take a uh, few minutes now it's uh, created go inside the load balancer now take this uh, IP and paste in your browser press enter okay wait 
the load okay it will uh, take few time to set up for uh, all the configuration uh, i am again uh, refreshing the place now it's uh, showing the first server right refresh again again refresh uh, after uh, 30 second i think uh, it's changed the server now it's uh, give the request to the server one right refresh again and again now see uh, it will show the server two so in this way you can set up your uh, load balancing in the gcp right that's it uh, for the today video thank you for watching and we will see in the next video